Queen ants play a crucial role in the life cycle of an ant colony, primarily responsible for reproduction and the perpetuation of the colony's lineage. Their egg-laying process is a fascinating and complex biological phenomenon that underscores the intricate organization and efficiency of ant societies. To understand how queen ants lay eggs, it is essential to delve into the anatomy, physiology, and behavior of these remarkable insects, as well as the environmental and social factors that influence their reproductive activities. The life of a queen ant begins with her emergence from a larva as a winged virgin queen, also known as a princess. These virgin queens possess fully developed reproductive organs and wings that they will use during the nuptial flight. The nuptial flight is a critical event where virgin queens and male ants, or drones, from different colonies take to the air simultaneously, usually during specific climatic conditions that are favorable for mating. This event ensures genetic diversity within the species, as queens typically mate with multiple males from various colonies. During the nuptial flight, the virgin queen mates with one or several males, storing their sperm in a specialized organ called the spermatheca. This organ can retain viable sperm for many years, allowing the queen to fertilize eggs throughout her life without needing to mate again. After mating, the males typically die, and the fertilized queens land, shed their wings, and search for a suitable location to establish a new colony. The choice of nesting site is crucial as it must provide the necessary conditions for the queen to start laying eggs and nurturing her first brood. Once a suitable site is found, the queen begins her solitary phase of colony founding. She digs a small chamber in the ground or locates a secure crevice and seals herself inside. During this initial period, the queen relies on her body's fat reserves and the nutrients stored in her wing muscles, which are broken down and reabsorbed. This energy sustains her as she starts laying her first eggs. The process of egg laying begins with the queen producing eggs in her ovaries. Ants, like all insects, are oviparous, meaning they lay eggs that develop and hatch outside the mother's body. The queen's reproductive system is highly specialized and efficient, consisting of paired ovaries connected to oviducts that lead to the spermatheca and finally to the ovipositor, the organ through which eggs are laid. The queen lays eggs by contracting her abdominal muscles to push the eggs through the ovipositor. The ovipositor is a versatile organ adapted for precise placement of eggs, ensuring they are deposited in optimal locations within the nest. The queen meticulously arranges her eggs, often in clusters or neat rows, to facilitate care and development. The eggs are initially small, oval-shaped, and have a soft, delicate shell called the corian. The queen may also secrete a sticky substance that helps anchor the eggs in place and may offer some protection against desiccation and pathogens. As the larvae grow, they undergo several molts, shedding their exoskeletons to accommodate their increasing size. The queen continues to provide meticulous care, ensuring the larvae are kept in optimal conditions. Once the larvae reach a certain size, they pupate, forming a cocoon around themselves where they undergo metamorphosis. During this stage, the queen's role becomes slightly less demanding, as the pupae require less direct care. However, she remains vigilant, protecting the developing pupae from potential threats. The queen's egg-laying is not just a mechanical process but is also influenced by various internal and external factors. Internally, her hormonal regulation plays a crucial role. Juvenile hormone and EC steroids are two key hormones that regulate reproduction in ants. Juvenile hormone influences the development and maturation of eggs, while EC steroids regulate molting and metamorphosis in larvae. The balance and levels of these hormones are critical for the queen's reproductive output and the overall health of the colony. The process of egg-laying by queen ants is a complex and finely tuned biological phenomenon that is integral to the success and perpetuation of ant colonies. From the nuptial flight and mating to the meticulous care of eggs and larvae, the queen's reproductive activities are driven by a combination of anatomical specialization, hormonal regulation, environmental conditions, and social dynamics. Her ability to produce and nurture a continuous supply of workers and reproductive individuals ensures the colony's growth, survival, and genetic legacy. 
The Queen's role is not just that of a reproductive machine but also a central figure in maintaining the social structure and stability of the ant society, highlighting the intricate and interdependent nature of life within an ant colony. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more.